Coming up on this episode of the Talking Mac Podcast. Ever wonder how to switch from PC to Mac? You want to do it as seamless as possible? Well, guess what? On this episode, we're going to be talking about switching from Windows to the Mac. We're going to make it seamless, easy, efficient, and you will enjoy your time on the Mac. Stay tuned. You will not want to miss it. Hello everybody and welcome to the Talking Mac Podcast. How are you? Hello and welcome to the Talking Mac Podcast. And in today's episode, we w- we're going to discuss moving from Windows to Mac. You know, the necessary steps to make your move as smooth and seamless as possible. Now, we'll get you up and running in no time at all. So, I'm going to tell you everything you need and we're going to be doing free, down- free Macintosh downloads of the week so we can help build up your application library for the Mac. And it's going to be all free, so you're really going to enjoy that. Um, so, let's start out. Let's jump right into this. What you're going to need to do is first back up your Windows computer. Just in case something during the move goes wrong, you have your first computer, your Windows computer, backed up. Let's talk about, secondly, we want to we want to pull together all of our files. And we want to put them in one place. Uh, maybe an external hard drive, you know. But I suggest taking all the files you're going to move off one computer and putting it into, the, into one giant folder. I'm talking gigabytes and gigabytes of, of, of this big giant folder. So what you want to, so that way when you drag it to your external hard drive, you don't have to go scramble all around your Windows computer to find where the files are and then drag them over. All you do is take all your files you want, drag them into this one giant folder, and then take that one giant folder and copy it right over to the external hard drive or however you're going to do it. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? It's, we want to be as efficient as possible. And, and that's, that's the key. Uh, third, we're going we're gonna to talk, we're going to decide on the method of transferring your data. Now, we have about five ways to do this, five or six ways to do it, depending on how you see things. First is a direct Ethernet uh, connection, a crossover Ethernet cable from one computer to the other. So from the back of your Windows machine to the back of your Mac, okay? So that way you have a network right there, and you can just transfer all that big file I told you to make, that big folder. You can take it, and you can transfer it right on over to that, uh, to that other computer. The next thing is wirelessly transferring things, which is not as fast as a crossover Ethernet, direct Ethernet crossover connection. I mean, uh, if you let's say you got a 250 gigabyte hot drive and you want to transfer all of that, it's going to take a while to transfer a couple hundred gigs or even about 70 to a hun- to about 250. It's going to take a long time to transfer all that wirelessly. Depends on the speed of your wireless network. So if you can, I suggest a direct Ethernet cable so you can go ahead and transfer all of those files that's going to be necessary all right we got a few more ways coming up at you our free Mac download of the week and some more tips and tricks to move you over from Windows to Mac everybody stay tuned we'll be right back right after this commercial break Hello everyone, I'm the host of the Talking Map Podcast. Now, I love myself some blogs, especially Apple News and Rumor Blogs. Now, where do I go to get my fix on a good Apple News and Rumor Blog? I go to the Mac Insider Blog at www.macinsider.tk. Now, they keep me up to date on Mac News and Rumors. Stuff that I can simply just cannot go without every day. So, go to www.macinsider.tk. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Talking Mac Podcast, everyone. Uh, 
So we said direct Ethernet. So let's just recap right quick. We said first back up your Windows computer. We said second, we said take all of your files that you want to transfer from your Windows machine to your Macintosh. We said take all those files and put them into one folder on your desktop. Put it on your desktop and then back up that one folder. So you can sort of take step number two and put it in number one. Depends on how you, you want to do it. Then we said trans decide on your method of transferring data. We said direct Ethernet crossover from Windows to Mac. We said wireless network is going to be slower. Now let's talk about an external hard drive. You can take that big folder, put it over to external hard drive, take it out, plug it into the Mac, and copy those files to their respective folders and file and file places on the Macintosh. Uh, let's you can use a web service. Now this is going to be a little uh, hard if you have a, if you came from a small computer or you just want and you're not trying to transfer a whole computer you just transfer a little bit and you want to do it on the cheap there's some free web service like MediaMax.com you'll find a link over to the right hand side of the viewing screen you'll find click the more info button you'll find a link to MediaMax uh, they give you 25 gigabytes of free space so you can upload some files so if you just have some files you want to upload and uh, you want to uh, you want to store up there and then take them off and place them on your Mac Be sh you can do that and that's on the cheap you can get 25 gigs free without having to buy an external hard drive or buying a crossover cable or using a wireless network if you don't have one now the third option the fifth option fifth and sixth option that I might not recommend it's DVD or CD, depends on the size. Now, DVDs can, I think, can hold up to 4.7 gigabytes on a, I think it's not, not including dual layer. Uh, and a CD, probably about 750 megabytes. So if you don't have a lot of files to move, go ahead and burn it to a DVD or a CD and rip it off and transfer those files to the Mac. Now, make sure that the DVD or CD you're using is a DVD or CDRW. So that way it's rewritable. So you can take it off and you can transfer more, more data instead of the DVD R or CDR, which you can only write to once. Now, the fourth step is finding the place on your Mac where you will store your stuff. So if you got music, put it in music. If you got, you know, just allocate where it's supposed, where it was on your Windows machine, put it there on the Mac. Now get to know the keyboard and get to know the menu bar placement. Menu bars are not adapt are not with the application window itself. Well, some are, but most are not. And get to know the keyboard. There is no Windows key. There is no uh, I uh, there's some there's some buttons that are not on the Mac keyboard. So get to know those. Now find. Let's get to the uh the seventh step here. Find applications that are compatible. If you had a Microsoft Office on your Windows computer, you can buy Microsoft Office for Mac. Or if you don't want to buy anything because you already bought my, my, because you already bought Microsoft Office, you can get Neo Office, which is a great this is open office derivative that has the aqua look to it and uh, it's more it's, it's, it seems like it's supposed to be on the Mac more than OpenOffice.org for the Mac. So you can get that for free. You'll find the link in our show notes to the right hand side. Uh, now let's get to our free Mac download of the week. This time it's Quicksilver. Now this is a great application. This is the way that you use a Mac via the keyboard. And you'll wonder why Apple has an and you'll wonder why Apple has not integrated into the OS yet. You're like, man, cause th this is we're talking application switching. If you are faster with the keyboard than you are with the mouse, which is not the case with me, I'd rather click than type. Uh, if you're faster with the with a keyboard than a mouse, you you love Quicksilver because you can set up, you can type some, some uh, keyboard shortcut keys, and it'll pop up your application. You click enter, and there you have it. You'll find a link to the right hand side in the show notes to the right hand side of the viewing screen. Okay. All right. So. We hope you enjoyed those tips right there. If you didn't get it, go back, rewind, and listen to it again. And enjoy your new Mac. And tip, do not bring the viruses with you. They, they're they not welcome on the Mac, all right? Join us here every single week because we are always talking Mac. See you later.